This is a healing for depression. Flowing my awareness out into the field of the internet. To everybody watching this video, to everyone needing or desiring support at this time. With my awareness, I'm isolating the structures of the causal realm, which are responsible for the experience of depression. It is a form of being. And in and of itself cannot be eliminated from the level on which it it knows itself. It cannot be eliminated. Depression cannot be eliminated by coming head to head with it. it. Cannot. Depression can only be eliminated by like sliding underneath it. We slide underneath that form. So the form is a very abstract form. It sits at the causal realm of creation. It's locked into place with karma. Looks like ancestral karma centuries of individuals not only not loving themselves but feeling that it's inappropriate to really like yourself or love yourself so it's not the depression we take it as our own depression right because it's something that's felt deep within it's something felt emotionally in the heart in the hormonal structures of the physiology and the microbiome. So we think, oh, this is my depression. But actually, actually, the structure that gives rise to depression, the aspect of finest feeling, which is responsible for the depression experience, is inherited. In most cases, it's inherited. Sometimes it'll skip generations. But here we go. So we're just isolating it out. If you're feeling it right now, I've, it seems that some people are actually feeling it kind of in the pit of their stomach right now. But it, wherever the sensation is, wherever the sensation of it is, and a lot of people are getting it up in the chest, up neck, throat, chest area. So stomach up through the neck, chest, throat area. This structure is not bigger than you are. That's important. And the thing is, if there's an illusion that it's bigger than you are, and the illusion is born of the perspective that getting rid of it means meeting it on its own terms. So if you try to meet it where it is, it will always win. Because there's an energetic structure in depression. It is its nature to expand with the, as a response to your awareness. This is why it's a little tricky sometimes for a person to get rid of their own depression by themselves. Because if you go in at it with all of your guns blasting or your guns blaring, your cannons up going, what happens is you come at it and you meet it on its terms, not on your terms, on its terms. And when you do that with your cannons, every time you blast into it, it grows like that. So it just gets bigger and bigger the more you kind of like go in with your attention to try to handle it or get rid of it. So that, that approach doesn't work. <laughs> um, what works is getting beneath it and getting behind it. What works is getting underneath it. So you are bigger than depression. You are more to the relative material level of creation than depression. And you are finer than depression. Because as a human, as humans, 
the range of our expression goes all the way through to the source of creation. And the source of creation is infinite, unbounded, unmanifest, seems like a not powerful way to approach it because the unmanifest level of self is quality less and therefore doesn't have any cannons or guns. But the reality is that the unmanifest level of creation is a resource of everything required to deal with the situation effectively and successfully. So from the inner source of being, we offer this healing for depression to the heart of the mother of creation, to that aspect of infinite manifesting potential which we can identify as the softest, gentlest, most loving aspect of self. That naturally, spontaneously exists as the interference pattern for the resonation set up by the depressia form, the form of depressia or suicide So, compassion is flowing deeply from the inside out into the area of the causal realm, which is responsible for the manifestation of depression. Good job. You're doing it. I'm just reco recording basically what I'm seeing. Compassion. There's also looks like a love matrix coming into the causal body, stable, a stable form coming into the causal body. For yourself, this matrix in the causal body is existing or residing in a larger context. I would say there are threads or streams of consciousness. So that would be like moving up a little bit uh, out of the causal and into the astral level of the physiology. Threads which tie the love matrix into the astral, emotional, and mental bodies, even etheric in some cases, bodies of the ancestors different numbers of generations for different people in on this healing, but naturally go back as far back as is required for each of you in order to promote the healing uh, for maximum effectiveness. It looks like it's averaging out about eight generations. So I'm still feeling the compassion flowing but it's able to flow through these streams or threads of consciousness that are connecting the light matrix, which is in your causal body, which means it's directly undoing the karma. It's directly undoing the karma. The way it is undoing the karma is by healing your ancestors. And when this particular energy structure of the interference pattern for depressia. When that form moves into the astral, emotional, and mental and etheric levels of the ancestors, it directly affects belief systems. Deep root thought patterns, habits. In the etheric body, it even affects senses of perception because when the beliefs are there or the depressia is underlying, then that causes the individual to only pick up cues from the environment that support the belief that I'm, you know, all the kinds of beliefs that go along with depression, like I'm useless and my life is meaningless and I'm only a burden on everybody around me and blah, 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 all those beliefs. So, we're undoing those beliefs. We're undoing them with huh, 
I'm seeing from the source of creation coming a stream or a, an impulse of pure truth, pure knowingness. Um, the nature of unified, integrated wholeness of self, of reality, realized self. Depression can only grip or entrap a person if the awareness of one's connection to the source of creation is severed or has been, um, we could say, consciously created, consciously manifested. So the reality that there's one being, that there's one wholeness at the source of creation is an underlying truth, which is sometimes, it sometimes goes unrecognized because it's so hard to pin it down from the level of the gross senses of perception. From the gross senses, we all look separate, right? Like I'm over here and you're over there, but really, really there's a level where there, you wouldn't be watching this video and I wouldn't be making it if it wasn't that we were supposed to connect. So it's okay. I'm feeling that those threads, that flow of love, and that flow of love is restructuring the analyzing capacity of the heart. Our hearts have a neural network, and they have memory, and they have means of analyzing experience. And so that particularly the analysis capability of the heart is restructuring in order to process experiences that support the reality of a your connection to the rest of creation as intimate and complete and total and b the experiences of being human as the fulfillment of the desire of the divine, that divine being, that source of creation, the, the reason that humans are created is so that there's a part of the universe that experiences and expresses the expansion of consciousness. So with every breath, we experience a kind of expansion. Expansion. Of consciousness with every bite of food that we process we the pro there's a transformation that occurs from the food into the energy and the physiology and every part of being human every little detail of the way awareness flows through the senses of perception out to the world and back every detail is an expression of the expansion of consciousness so we can't avoid fulfilling the ultimate goal of our human existence and as such being held as infinitely precious in the eyes of the creator, which is also part of who we are. It's also, we are part of that. That is part of us. It is all one thing. There's one thing, one being. So no, that regardless of measures on the surface of life, of what it is to be successful or what it is to be valuable or what it is to be lovable, regardless of all of those, know that you are naturally fulfilling the precepts of your existence simply by being, simply by breathing, simply by allowing awareness to move through your physiology and heart and mind to the world and back again. And even if the experience isn't a happy experience, it's meaningful to that level of self, which is the source of all this. It is meaningful. It is valuable. All right. 
Thank you very much for being with me. It's always very special to do these healings, and I hope that this healing is really useful and it helps anyone who feels depression or is experiencing depression in any way to be released from that experience. Thank you. We'll do it some more.